Hello folks and welcome back to another Wise Game video. In today's video we're going to be covering the Japanese RPG game called Alliance Alive. Now this is the Steam edition for the computer system. What I'm actually going to be covering in today's video is how to configure your game controller the way that you would like it to be. Now if we come into the game and we open up the main menu for me, it's the X button on my game controller, which is the F310. We're going to open up the main menu. And then on the very top here, we're going to scroll over to where it says options. We're going to then uh, press on that. And we're going to see in the main menu here that there is no setup here for your gamepad. So there's no way of configuring your gamepad by this method within the game. So again, I want to configure this, so I'm going to go to Equipment. So if we go into Equipment, we're going to see that the only way to go through this menu right here is you have to use the directional pad defaulted. So if I try to press on it, and you could hear it, you're going to see that my arrow's barely moving. And I really got to press on it hard, so it does a, it does a number on my thumb after a while. Now if I want to go back up, that one's totally totally broken so it's not even working so now i want to assign this to my right toggle switch so we can change the controller setup but to do this we have to go to the steam application you have to go to your account and then in your library you should have the alliance alive if you downloaded it you're going to right click on it and you're going to go to manage and in Manage, you're going to have Controller Configuration. This is the configuration menu that we see right here. Now, they use the Xbox Image Controller defaulted. Now, I'm not going to go over all the buttons in here, all the settings and all that stuff. I'm just going to basically show you guys what I'm going to be changing for my controller setup. So, when you come in here, just poke around and see what different things do. Now, I've noticed too that if you've got this on full screen, sometimes the cursor doesn't line up properly with the buttons. So you can see right here, if I wanted to click on Browse Configs, it's not doing anything. But if I minimize it up here, and then go back down, we could see now that Browse Configs now shows up. And then you can click on that, and then you have all these options. See again at the very bottom here where it says hide other controller types. I can't click on it right now, but if I minimize it, you got to kind of line it up just right. And then hit it. It definitely works. So I'm going to use this blank notepad just to clean up the background a little bit. All right, so here we are now looking at the main menu of our controller setup for the game. So now looking at this image, this is my controller. So what I want to do is I want to take what my directional pad's doing and I want to assign it to the toggle, to the right toggle right here. See where my cursor is? So that's what I want to do. So now back to the menu here, our configuration menu. We could see that on the Xbox controller, this one right here functions the same way as my right toggle does on my gamepad so i'm just going to go down to where it says radial menu because that's the one that's tied to that to that button i'm going to click on that and then in here we're going to have to change things around so what i want to do right now is put it on generic directional pad and now even though we set it up for the directional pad now i still have to assign each one of these so for up we go to up left left button then right right button and then down is the down button now another thing i want to mention too is that the reset back to default button at the bottom here does not always work right so as we see in just a few seconds the new changes i made it did not default it back to the original so this thing is rather buggy. 
Then once we have this all set up the way that we want it, we're now going to hit the done button at the bottom right. We're now going to fire up the game and see if it worked. So now we're going to go back to the game and we're going to again hit the X button, open up the menu. We're going to go back to equipment. Now this time I'm going to use my right toggle switch on my right toggle button and go up and down this list and see if it works. And my thumb is very happy right now. So we can see that that definitely worked for us and that's basically it guys. So again, it does work fine. It is a little bit buggy as we've seen when we're in the configuration menu, but it still works. It still gives us these options that we could use now. Now, I'm going to be coming out with a review video um, any day now, covering this game, giving you some information about it. So definitely keep an eye out for that. Until then, guys, thanks for watching Wise Gamer. And again, this was configuring your gamepad or your game controller for Alliance Alive on Steam. Feel free to sub up for more future videos. Comment below. We'd love to hear from you. Until then, you guys have yourself a great day. Bye-bye.